Hello there guys. Today I spent a sunny afternoon trying out the Artistro watercolor palette and I think that I may have found the perfect travel palette. So first let's talk about the kit. This kit is adorable. That is the first thing I noticed about the Artistro paint set. It comes with this little booklet of 10 sheets of 300 GSM watercolor paper, which is pretty heavyweight, and then this little robin's egg blue tin. So you open the tin, and they provide their own swatch card on plastic of the 48 colors, and then they give you this paper swatch card that you can paint in, which is super handy. There are two paint brushes, one little brush and one water brush, which is great for on the go. There is an eraser, a pencil, and this little sponge that you can use for wiping your brushes. Now let's talk about my favorite thing in the whole world and really the reason that you would get this palette, which is the colors. Now. I have never tried Artista before, so I went into this with pretty much no expectations. In fact, for a palette this affordable, I expected the colors to not be that vivid. I was so pleasantly surprised by these colors. I think my favorite part of this entire project was just filling in this um, swatch sheet. I mean, Look at these colors, they're absolutely gorgeous. And to be fair, some of the colors are more saturated or vivid than other colors. And that is quite normal with a watercolor palette. Even the more expensive and high quality watercolor palettes will have some variation in the saturation and that's just based on the types of pigments that they use for different colors. And so some colors like the lighter sort of lavender purple color has more white in it and um, that's never going to be as purely saturated as some of the more pure pigmented colors like deep blues or reds and stuff like that. Another fun little addition is the fact that they have these metallic colors. And um, these are also quite light, but I think they would work really well as just like a glaze. And just to call out some of my absolute favorite colors that you don't usually get in watercolor palettes here, I am loving this mauve, I'm loving this blackish green, and I'm really loving the turquoise too. So the next thing that I do is I put the colors to the test. Um, I want to see how they interact with each other and how they flow on the paper. And this is where there really is a difference in quality of watercolors. Often the more affordable or beginner palettes um, don't have that uh, beautiful flow and mixing capabilities. And I did run into some of that with this Artistro palette. Some of the colors mix okay, especially if they're closer to each other, um, but it's definitely not like the smoothest mixing palette. But what it is, is it is a beautiful, vivid 48 set of colors to play with. And that is exactly what I did. The paper that Artistro provides has a little bit of a uh, texture. It's kind of in between cold press and hot press, I would say. It's basically in the size of a bookmark. So I thought it would be a cute little project to do these kawaii fruit bookmarks. Because I definitely wanted to do something vibrant and I wanted to do something that didn't rely on mixing colors too much. I did want to see how these colors layered because that is another way um, that you can sort of get around uh, the mixing is that you can do some good layering. And I was also pleasantly surprised with how, how they layered. I found that the best way for me to paint with these at least 
was to lay down a base layer of one color to let it dry and then to lay down subsequent layers rather than trying to lay down two different colors at the same time. I used the tiny brush that they gave in the palette rather than the water brush and probably I should have used the water brush for some of the bigger surfaces. Um, and I used to like water brushes a little bit more than I do now. I think my style has changed a little bit and I kind of like the precision of like the edges that you can get with these really fine brushes. And I did enjoy the fact that there were so many different colors to choose from. So I really didn't have to do any mixing. You know, for example, in these watermelons, there are cool pinks and warm pinks and um, reds and tomato reds and more of like a vibrant orange and of course i used my very favorite blackish green for the rinds and isn't that a lovely color and i didn't have to do any mixing of these colors whatsoever they were already there and that is why i think this could be a really great travel palette or beginner palette for situations where you don't necessarily want to get a big surface out to mix things and you're on the go and you just kind of want to dip into the color and apply it and sometimes i do find that when there are more colors in front of me i use more colors too And there you have it. We have some vibrant kawaii fruits. I hope that you enjoyed this little chest run of this palette. If you would like to try this palette out yourself, um, Artistro kindly gave me 10% off of their Amazon stores in the UK and the US and their store. And I have left all of those links and the promo code below. So until we meet again, TTFN.